welcome back now it's time for our daily practice view and we are delighted to be joined here in the studio with dr dina wafa director executive education the american university in cairo good morning good morning and uh, we start with the al shuruk newspaper and we read in key details ethiopian patriarchs mutual agreements should turn into legal ones president abdel fattah sisi told the patriarch of the ethiopian orthodox church on monday that the Nile is of life for Egypt and not just a source of development. El Sisi met with Patriarch Matthias I at Al Ittahadiyya presidential palace in Cairo, part of the Patriarch's six day trip to Egypt, where he has met with senior religious and political officials, including Coptic Orthodox Pope Tawadros II and Prime Minister Ibrahim Mahlab. During the meeting, El Sisi stressed the importance of taking practical measures that transform political agreements into a legal reference that protects the rights and interests of both countries and consolidates cooperation. So what's the importance of this visit in general by the Patriarch of uh, Ethiopia and a special focus uh, on his meeting with the President Abdel Fattah Sisi yesterday? Yes, well, um, our relations with, uh, with, the, with Africa is very important, mm -hmm. and we can see that uh, President Sisi is uh, giving a, a lot of uh, focus on this issue we, because, uh, as we all know, we have a, a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, common interests, uh, the Nile and, uh, and, and more than that, mm -hmm. and, and so it's, it's important that these steps are taken and that the Ethiopian Patriarch also, uh, his timely visit coinciding with the uh, 7th of January yeah. um, ce uh, celebrations of our Coptic community. Mm. And, and so this can be a, a good start for uh, more development uh, uh, in that case. And uh, what's the role of the Egyptian and Ethiopian churches in soothing negotiations between the two countries regarding the Renaissance Dam? Uh, this is very important because, uh, um, as you all know, the, the 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 the, per the element of communication and and of course with uh, with uh, with re not just the religious ties but also uh, building this uh, community together uh, uh, always forms a good basis for uh, negotiation yes, yes. Mm. and they're uh, moving to al masri Yom newspaper and we read el sisi tells the party leaders next parliament will have more powers political party leaders who attended a joint meeting with President Abdel Fattah Sisi on Monday, the first such talk since he became president. Sisi had called on political parties to unite. Head of the right of center conference party, Omar al Mukhtar Sumeda, said that the meeting tackled several issues, including the coming parliamentary elections. El Sisi said he would favor a national party list, promoting that he would back it if it will bring political parties together. So um, how do you see this call by President Abdel Fattah Sisi for all parties uh, to unite and how do you see preparations for parliamentary elections in general? Actually we, we are very happy that there is announcement for the election dates yes. uh, finally and uh, this is not the first time that President Sisi announces mm -hmm. that the parliament has more power. It's, yeah. it's, it's ever since our constitution yeah. was in place, uh, it gives the parliament um, uh, more uh, powers and that's I think also is the reason that uh, preparations were taken very meticulously until yeah. they were uh, released uh, as this is an important event for Egypt now uh, and it's important that the political parties also s um, uh, uh, decide on their track and, uh, and this um, unification is, uh, is also essential as the people need to know uh, who would they vote for yeah. and what they represent. And uh, still with Al Masri Yom newspaper, and we read El Sisi meets U.S. journalist and presenter Peter Greenberg. President Abdel Fattah Sisi held an interview Monday with Peter Greenberg, a U.S. talk show host at the presidential headquarters. Presidential spokesman said Greenberg highly praised the president's speech during celebrations of the birth of Prophet Muhammad, as it included positive ideas that could attract international attention. Minister of Tourism Hisham Zahazua attended the meeting. Greenberg stressed that Egypt is a wonderful destination for tourism as it has a lot of touristic places. He also added that he and all tourists are totally safe and secure in Egypt. 
To what extent the speech by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi during celebrations of Prophet Muhammad's birth was of a great importance and it drew uh, international attention? Yes, it, it was very uh, important and uh, uh, President al-Sisi uh, during the past week, not just with the Prophet Muhammad's mm. uh, uh, celebrations, but also on the 7th of January when he yeah. went to visit yeah, uh, the, the church. The yeah. church. Uh, it, all of this shows how uh, in Egypt we in, embrace uh, uh, our um, um, different uh, 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 groups uh, together and that there is uh, a good diversification in, in Egypt and um, accommodation for everyone. Uh, and the revolution on uh, uh, kind of terrorist uh, thought is, is very uh, mm -hmm. important. It's also um, uh, um, essential that there's always uh, um, communication with international media because as we see, we are in this global uh, small village yeah. as, we s as, uh, as we know and uh, uh, communication is very important and, and essential for our tourism industry which yeah. I think is starting to pick up uh, yeah. finally. Yes. Mm. I'm moving uh, to Al the newspaper and we read final list of new governors waiting medical check. Sources said on Monday the Prime Minister Ibrahim Mahlam met new candidates expected to be appointed as governors for a number of provinces. The sources added among those candidates come a number of young people. The same sources stress governors of Rai Giza, Damieta, Munufeya and Al Bahira are to be replaced in the coming movement. So let's focus on among those candidates come a number of young people. And this is a very yeah, this is positive good step yes. Yes, yes. by the government. Mm. So uh, how mm. did you make the decision to engage young people in, uh, in uh, government affairs? It is, it is very important. We need to draw on our resources. We are a young population. Yeah. Egypt is a young population. Yes. Uh, and, uh, and so it's... Uh, uh, it's um, something... Uh, it's, it's very positive, yes. positive that we have them uh, join in uh, in the decision making and in building our future. Mm. And uh, moving uh, to Al Ahram online, and we read Kenya backs Egypt's candidacy for the UN Security Council. Kenyan Foreign Minister Amina Mohammed on Monday expressed her country's support for Egypt in its bid to join the UN Security Council. Kenya's statement came during talks. Foreign Minister Sameh Shokri, which he held in Nairobi. Shokri stressed that Egypt is greatly concerned with boosting mutual cooperation with Kenya in various domains. So, um, how do you see Egypt's candidacy for the UN Security Council and uh, what's the importance of this visit by the Foreign Minister? And um, the visit is important. It's again building relations Should with Kenya. Yeah. Uh, our allies, yeah. we are uh, 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 an African country as yeah. well. I mean, Egypt has a strategic location. Yes. Uh, so building our ties in Africa is, is, is uh, overdue yeah. uh, uh, by now, and, it's, and it's, we have taken great steps uh, in our new regime. Mm -hmm. um, and our place in the UN Security Council is, of course, essential, yes. uh, as Egypt, as we see, is a, is a, mm. is a main player in the region. And uh, back uh, to Al Yom Al Sabah, where we read temperatures to rise during coming days. Ahi Saudi spokesman of the meteorological agency said that temperatures will rise slightly in the coming days. It will still be cool during the day and very cold at night with thick mist on most highways. Wind speed will be moderate, which will allow normal maritime activities in the Red Sea and the Mediterranean. He added that light rain is expected in Gair on Tuesday with a maximum temperatures of 17 degrees and a minimum temperature of 9 degrees and strong wind and rain are expected in Saloum, Matruh and Alexandria. So we hope that the weather... This is great news. <laughs> and we hope that the weather <laughs> improves as we are approaching the mid-year vacation for students. Yes, yes. And um, we can move to Al-Ahram mm. uh, <laughs> online and uh, Egypt's stocks uh, rise as regional market slides on Monday. Egypt's main index rose 2.24 percent on Monday to 9,109 points, the highest level in four weeks, while regional markets flattered, faltered with a new drop in world oil prices. Local investors were net sellers to the tune of 30.8 million pounds, while foreign investors were net buyers 
for 26.7 million pounds and Arab investors were net buyers for 4.1 million pounds. Total turnover was 612 million pounds. The broader EGX 70 index rose 0.93%. So how do you see the performance of the stock market in general? I, I think that these are positive steps. It reflects on uh, all the efforts uh, that exerted yeah. uh, by our government and also uh, with the uh, uh, economic uh, uh, conference, conference co approaching, yeah, conference, yes. uh, 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 we perhaps expect more uh, positive results yeah. in this area. Mm. And uh, still uh, with uh, Al Ahram online, and we read Egypt Central Bank sells 971.3 million dollars in one year T bills. T bills. Egypt Central Bank said it sold 971.3 million dollars in one year Treasury bills at an average yield of 2.125 percent at its auction on Monday. The minimum yield was 2.1% and the maximum was 2.138% and the bills will be issued on Tuesday. Egypt last sold $1.1731 billion worth of one-year dollar denominated treasury bills in December at an average yield of 2.133%. So let's focus again on preparations for the economic summit that uh, will take place in uh, March and uh, with the government efforts to attract uh, more investors and to uh, promote for this important uh, event. This, this will be a, 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 a turning point for mm. Egypt. Um, uh, I think preparations uh, uh, should be at their highest. Uh, we need to have targets of, of uh, what do we need to, 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 mm. to get from this uh, conference. Yes. Uh, set exact figures, wh who do we want to target, what do we want to do with each investor, and uh, assign roles yeah. for each uh, uh, individual, all of us. Yes, especially that we are having mm. now mega projects and yes. we need to attract more investors in the coming period. Exactly, and everyone has a role, not just those who will be in the conference itself yeah. and preparing for it, even the media, people in the street, everything as safety, security, media, and how they see Egypt uh, they are all uh, attractive uh, points for investment. Yeah. Mm. And uh, moving to Egypt uh, Independent, where we read Economic Committee to discuss investment draft law. Wednesday, the Economic Committee of the Legislative Reform Committee will hold a meeting Wednesday to discuss the unified investment draft law with business organizations. Hisham Raga, vice chairman of the Economic Committee, said that the anticipated meeting comes as part of a series of meetings to listen to the observations parties relevant to the draft law before preparing a final report that would be submitted to the General Secretariat of the Legislative Reform Committee. Deputy Chairman of the Federation of Egyptian Industry, Tariq Tawfi, said the Federation will present during the meeting its remarks on the proposed amendments, pointing out that certain articles should be amended. So, uh, to what extent unifying the investment, uh, amending the unified the investment law, will help in uh, removing all obstacles to investors? It is very important at this time. Uh, the investment law was a critical point mm. for uh, for encouraging investments in Egypt. Mm. And we did have a lot of flaws previously. The new investment law uh, has seen a, a lot of improvements, but it, it still has more uh, uh, to go because um, this now provides like the basic uh, um, needs of an investor. However, it, it also needs to add this new touch, this uh, yeah. flavor which will attract the investor want to attract the investor, not just to have uh, the, the, yeah. the basic uh, needs of an investor. Mm. Okay, Dr. Mm. Dina Wafa, Director Executive of Education, American University in Cairo, thank you for being with us today. Thank you. And uh, now we'll go for a short break and we'll resume the breakfast show, so stay tuned.